Kitty, you're crazy. Aren't cats supposed to be clean? Aren't cats supposed to be clean animals? Aren't cats supposed to be clean animals? Jake, you gonna roll around in the mud too? Kitty cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're a loony. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is third. What is it? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. God, it is another hot day, which is good. You have clothes outside. I didn't know. I just showed it all on YouTube. Okay. I didn't know it was out there. Anyways, guys, it is another nice day. Look at this. It's super nice outside. We're gonna go look around. I'm trying to convince my mom to get some better stuff for our compost tea making because when we do big barrels like our little air stone and fish pump is fine when you don't like five gallon buckets but for a big 50 gallon barrel like that we need more air which we need to get like a big air pump which is like 40 bucks and like these aerators for like five like you get like these things that do like five gallons of water at a time and it's good for you get like two or three of them like 20 30 bucks a piece we need like two probably three but one would probably be a lot better than what we're doing now you can hook up like five to yeah anyways guys Try to convince her. I don't know if it'll work or not, but for now, we just got what we got. Anyways, guys, well, let's get to this start. I will cut back. We're we'll taking it off work. So, whoop, roll the intro. Sorry, guys, for interrupting this video, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and some other stuff. But thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube Record the Hate Speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks, unless you're a late night talk show host. But if you guys really want to help me and support my channel, you can do what is happening right here. Probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing. Right there. See, you can subscribe, click the bell, and there's some ding-dings right there. See? That, that's pretty. But really, guys, if you want to do that, it would really help my channel. Now, let's get into the actual video. So, bye, guys. I'm back. So, first off, let's go check on our compost tea from yesterday. I'm going to let it go for two days because you can let it go for like 20... I think it's like... I'm going to let it go another day. I might use it today. I'm not sure. Because it hasn't, I'm going to let it go for two days, maybe three, because it's a pretty big batch. So let's see. See if it's all bubbly. Probably not get enough air to it because, again, we need a bigger pump. We have this, oh god, there's like this little tiny fish pump, and we need a bigger one for 50 gallons like this to really up our compost tea game for these big buckets. It, it's good for like small buckets, like five gallon buckets, stuff like that, but... Yeah, it's not even bubbling. Should be all nice and bubbly. Should be foamy, but it's not. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should stir it a couple times to get some air in it. I don't have anything to stir it with, though. You can actually just stir these, like, every couple hours, which is pretty cool. You can get air. I need, like, a thing. Hold on. You need more air in it, I think. No. I mean, it'll be it'll do its job, but it could do a lot better if we had more air. Like, I'm going to get, like, a big old, like, a, it's a big pump. It's, like, it's an air pump. is like, $40. And then you can get these uh, aerators, specifically for compost tea. It's, like, a big tube it's for, designed for five gallon buckets but you can put them in attach them to the side of barrels or whatever you we'll probably get like two of those and that, that would be going crazy with air and compost tea right mom i need more air oh, i know the cat's nuts she always does that kitty cat you're crazy you're crazy, kitty. Kitty cat. You're crazy. You're loony bin. Kitty, you're crazy. Aren't cats supposed to be clean? Aren't cats supposed to be clean animals? Aren't cats supposed to be clean animals? Jake, you gonna roll around in the mud too? Kitty cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're a loony. Yeah, and you can't do that in this. 
No, you're not. So, this is our second. I'm going to try to just plant. They're fine. They'll decompose and add or get back to the soil. Come on, baby. Come on. He says yes. <laughs> you're a loony. Uh, I'm going to try to plant out here that worried about the chickens digging. You should get them big rocks because I don't have good shoes on this. Step through. See them three big rocks? See those big, big three ones right there? Over there! Right there! We'll get those three because they're big. You know, it's long enough to go. See? Well, we'll just pull them back a little bit. I want to choke He's already choked himself. Those aren't yeah, that one. This big I thought I grabbed all these, but guess not. Even when you have to dig up next year, I'm gonna do what we did over there in that garden. We're just gonna plant, ride it, and cut it down. What? We're really gonna add the compost to this plot because we literally had not planted anything here for a long time. That garden over there, we don't really add stuff to it, but we've been putting compost in it for like 60 years. I don't know, 60 years, but like at least 30 years. My dad has, and before that, he did manure. He they did when they was kids. Mom, you just have issues. You have issues. Can we, can we go walk right now? It's actually not that bad here and the sun's not beating you down. There's a nice breeze today. Here. Is there more rocks? Probably. Probably. I thought I grabbed them all, but it doesn't matter. What are we going this way for? Uh, yeah, I'm going to plant. Like I said, we're probably going to plant some tomatoes there because we ran out of room. Are they going for tomatoes? So we're going to put like... Yellow tomatoes and like eight mule teams. The mule teams are like big old. Uh, they're basically what? Are, they're basically a bigger, better version of. I think it's is it box car willy, or no? One of them tomatoes. It's like a big old tomato. Really, really, really? What? Did you box car really? No, I think why? I can't remember. I can't remember what tomato. The mule team is a bigger version of that. One of them. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a better version of one of the other tomatoes. But yeah. And then we have yellow made out of our wazoo because I want nuts with the seeds because they said the seeds would, wouldn't germinate right. So I planted a whole bunch of seeds and we had like 25 yellow tomatoes. Huh? <laughs> we had a whole bunch of them. Jake, come on, walk. Do you know the canned tomato sauce? Huh? We need to get a, you know you can't, you can't water bath can t yellow tomatoes, right? You have to pressure can them. Would you get a pressure canner? We do have one. No, we don't. I think it's a pressure cooker. Canner. Well, yeah, I forgot about it. But I can't get the freaking slow cook. You want me to pressure can it? Well, we got that one thing. Well, one the one thing. Barbecue time. The barbecue time. The barbecue time. What? Barbecue. Time. Mm. Barbecue. What? Barbecue. Oh, I can't hold that. Cut the dog's I'm too tired. Here, hold him. Why do I gotta keep holding the dog? I hate when you do this. You're annoying. She's annoying, guys. Jake, you're going this way. I'll meet you down at the car. Anyways, guys. Like I said, uh, we need to uh, get more air to the big 50-gallon uh, thing. I mean, that, that'll that work if you have just like a 5-gallon bucket. But we're going to be using a lot of compost tea this year because... We didn't have enough compost for everything, so I'm going to fertilize. I'm probably going to put compost tea in the garden like once a week. Maybe twice a week down there in this plot because there is literally nothing there. So, by the way, our compost tea is like, we use like one shovel of uh, compost. Like, our good compost that we have left. We left a little bit of compost left for that. And then we use a lot of worm castings. And then that's basically it. And the worm castings from last year, so they're probably not really active, active because... They've been up sitting up there all year, which is probably not the best. I might use some worm castings from inside, like a couple shovelfuls of our live worm castings, which would be a lot better probably. But we need more air. We need more volume of air. That makes sense. Yeah. Right, Jake? Right, Jakey? Anyway, guys, I'll come back in a few minutes. So, whoop. hi, guys. I'm back. I'm here right now by myself because my dad left because he's cranky pants. Why are you so cranky tonight? That. Why are you so cranky? Gee whiz. It actually feels pretty good in here. Back there it feels hot because back out here we have all the air conditioners. We've got two air conditioners going in this one. 
These ain't quite working very well. I just like a fan there because I'm trying to blow out the air up because it shoots forward and the couch is in the way. Which is why the couch pulled way out, but yeah. Anyways, guys, so update on what I did today. Didn't get to use the compost tea because I want to let it go two days because that stuff is not, I mean, it's working, but it's probably not getting enough air, so I'm going to let it go for two days. But I noticed that after that, it's going to rain for like, it's going to rain tonight and maybe tomorrow, so maybe two days. It might have to go for four days, which is not optimal, but. It might be better because it's a huge batch and it should have enough in it to eat because I put like compost it, but the compost is kind of not finished. So it's probably not, it probably the bacteria should have something to eat and then the air is going. So it should be fine for a couple more days. Optimal time for that is like a day, 24 hours to 48 hours is roughly, you might be able to get away with three or four days. Depends. But I want to be, I want to be able to buy a bigger uh, air pump and a bigger uh, thing. They, they have them on Amazon. You can get like a air pump that does five gallon buckets. I'm going to get like two or three of those. And a bigger air pump so I can pump up more air, but probably just get one and slowly time we'll get like two or three more and slowly work away up to like three. That'll probably be enough for a 50 gallon thing. But like I said, it's just a long time. That's not cutting it for how much we need to water now because now we have two garden. Oh, update on the garden because I said that was an update. I planted the rest of our tomatoes was actually like 23 tomato plants, mostly yellow tomatoes, a couple mule teams, and then I plant them down here. And I thought the chickens would leave them alone, but you know chickens. And it cooled like four of them already, so my bad. My bad. <laughs> Hopefully it, they don't kill them. I also planted a row of spaghetti, well, like a half row of spaghetti squash because I ran out of seeds. And I finished, like, and then I put some, uh, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word, uh, ah, uh, green beans. And then I did a row of cucumbers all the way across. So hopefully chickens don't dig everything out and kill everything. Once they start growing, they should be fine. Like once it gets, just had a bug on me, I think, from outside because I have to cat him. Once they start growing, they should be fine in like two weeks. Once they get bigger, they shouldn't be able to kill them. But when they're little like this, the chickens just want to go dig out there and it's going to kill everything. Hopefully they don't kill my plants. They shouldn't. I can't. Now, I didn't know this is a thing that my dad told me, which I didn't even think about this when I did it. But where I put the garden is a bad place because we actually can't fence it off because it's underneath the power lines. And the power company will not let you put fences underneath the power line because they got to be able to get to the power line. Which I can't put a fence there, so the chickens are going to deal with it. I don't want to deal with chickens. You're going to have to fence them somewhere or do something else. What? Don't even start with me. I know. He's cranky. Why don't want to tape him? He's fine. No, he didn't want me to tape the house. Well, stop. He's fine. He'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, he will. He will get over it. Anyways, guys. That's basically what I did today. I'm exhausted. I've been working a garden for like four days straight, actually. Because I plant everything in that garden. And then I plant everything in this garden, almost. But that one isn't as big as that one. It's not as wide. So we get like three rows of stuff. Of viney stuff. We could probably get another row. Oh, I'll also plant some flowers that are too along the edges there. So hopefully the chickens don't eat everything out there. Maybe it'd be better to plant potatoes out there next year. And I don't know about corn because the chickens would eat the corn seeds. Because chickens love corn seeds. So I don't think we could ever plant corn out there. But we'll have to just do a row, like maybe make it uh, potatoes next year or something like that. Potatoes and, I don't want to do potatoes and, potatoes and tomatoes don't do a good job together. Tomatoes and potatoes hate each other. They're the same type of species. So what would we do, what transplants could we do? Maybe potatoes and cold weather stuff. That'd be a good idea. We could do potatoes and, I don't know, chickens love that stuff. I don't know. I'll have to think about it next year. I'll put the spot in a bad spot. I didn't think about because of the power line. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to end the outro. I'm going to start the outro. So, hey, God, it is hot back. I can't even breathe back here. It's so hot. Man, why is it so hot back here? Ugh, I'm glad we put in the air conditioners the other day. Anyways, guys, super hot back here. I'm actually sweating. Just come back here. Look at this. Uh, anyways, guys, did a lot today. Compost tea update. Didn't I need to make bigger uh, stuff, air compressors, but anyways guys also updating the vegetables out there in the other garden pot which i hope the chickens don't eat which they shouldn't all of them i hope not my dad says it'll be going by tomorrow which i hope not anyway guys i'll talk to you guys tomorrow so roll the outro bye guys i'm back if you made it this far i want to say a big thank you because watching a lot of my videos like this if you watch to the end leave something below like banana or lemon or leave leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far well it'll be our little secret to anyone who doesn't watch the end you won't know what's happening in the comments one because comments are good for the algorithm and two watching to my videos and it's good for the algorithm so if you guys want to do that it'll be awesome also 
there's videos here, here, and here. There's two bits on my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great also. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Woo!